It is April, middle of April, almost middle of April, and raining and cold in Ohio. Not necessarily exactly where I'd want to be right now, just I'm ready for the warm sun. Um, but you know, that's not always, that's not always God's timing, right? Um, sometimes we have to take a, a new look or a different perspective on what's happening right now in the moment. Um, where would I rather be than in Ohio in the middle of April, cold, rainy weather? I'd rather be in Haiti. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, the beautiful surrounding, not to say that this is not beautiful, trust me, I love my Ohio surroundings. I love the green, I love the change of the seasons, but there's there's so much beauty in that and there's so much beauty um, in Haiti and there's so much beauty around the world that God has created. God has created all things good right and at the same time I kind of I kind of think about when we're thinking about different perspectives and I'm thinking about I'd rather be in Haiti right now I think about the fact that it has been a couple years right since we've been able to to go or since I've been able to go um, since many of you who have been there before have been able to go or um, I know that there are many of you who who would love to go visit those things that Rowan Aline and um, the HCO team have been talking about uh, for quite some time now you know we tend to think of the hands and feet of God the hands and feet of the body of Christ um, when we talk about going And I think that too sometimes needs a different perspective. There's more than just hands and feet when it comes to the body of Christ. Jesus shows us that. He shows us that not only are there hands and feet, not only is there going and healing and and being in relationship, but there's a voice to the body. There's a voice that stands up for those who have no voice or who cannot be heard despite how loud their voices cry out. There's a voice for those who are oppressed. There's a voice for the orphans and for the widows. Christ didn't simply recognize the power that left him as he was walking through the crowd and the woman who had been bleeding when she touched him. He didn't just think to himself, okay, she's been healed. He wanted to know her. He turned and spoke to her. He wanted to show that she too is a child of God. Despite what had been placed upon her, despite the illness that she had had, her faith, he wanted people to know her faith. And so when I think about what can we those who so badly want to be the hands and feet, be a part of the body. What does that look like in regards to those of us who are used to serving on the ground in Haiti? And I, I think about the fact that the hands and feet are already there, right? The, uh, the pastors of the churches and the teachers of the schools and the doctors and nurses of the hospital, those are the hands and feet of, of the body of Christ right now. 
And while they're healing and they're going and they're spreading the word, the, they're spreading the gospel, friends, I cannot help but feel that God is calling us to be the voice of the body of Christ right now. To stand up and speak on their behalf, not to, not to speak for them, but on their behalf, on behalf of our brothers and sisters who are, who are starving, on behalf of our brothers and sisters who are um, cut off from basic necessities. I understand that there are many that say, well, this is the Haitian government problem that needs to be, to be solved. And, and I, I have no doubt that um, a government needs to be in place in order for a country um, to smoothly run. Um, at the same time, do people think about who's in power when their stomachs are three, four days without food? When they don't have access to clean water? You know, we think about those basic needs and we think about um, the country needing to be set right and you know, there's a lot of argument about what comes first. And I would say that love, I would say that Christ would say love needs to come first. And so I want us to really think this week about how can we love our brothers and sisters Yes, by praying for them and yes, by, by lifting them up to God, but love is action. So what action as the body of Christ do we take in this moment, in this time? I think that God would have an answer for that. And so let's first turn to him in prayer and ask, Lord, what would you have us do? How would you have us move? Father God, you move. You are calling us to walk beside you and to do kingdom work alongside of you. So Lord, as simply as that, Give us the direction, give us the guidance, give us the words as you gave Moses and Aaron. Lord, put us in front of people that you would have us speak truth and love to on behalf of our brothers and sisters. God, move through us. And when we hear the Holy Spirit say, take that step, give us the courage to do so. When we hear the Holy Spirit say, this is who you need to talk to, give us the courage to open our mouths and let your words flow. Let your love and truth flow on behalf of our brothers and sisters in Haiti, on behalf of our brothers and sisters worldwide. Jesus, we thank you for your example we thank you for showing us that love in action. And as we call ourselves follower, followers of you, let us truly walk in your footsteps, Lord. It's in the name of your son, Father God. It's in the name of your son, Jesus. I pray. Amen.